Hey everyone, welcome back to the clinicaltrialsguru.com. Once again, it's the clinicaltrialsguru.com. It's Dan Sfera. I got a question the other day, and Don actually asked me to, to um, answer this question, so I think he got this question. It's the difference between the private clinics out there and the larger clinics like the universities or the academic institutions. So apparently a lot of people are you know interested in clinical trials and they want to know what's the best clinic for them to do this at is are they better suited to go to a university clinic or are they better off going to a private clinic and the answer is I mean they're virtually the same you may have more choices at the academic institutions obviously they're larger so they may have more studies so as opposed to a, a boutique smaller institution like a private institution like South Coast Clinical Trials where we conduct just psychiatry and neurology studies um, there is a sense of connection between the staff and the study participants because we're smaller we don't have as many people in our studies as an academic institution would have we usually have the same staff member seeing you each time um, in a larger institution I'm not saying that they're not going to treat you great because they do. I've, I've heard numerous stories from people who have done studies at academic institutions. The problem there is they may not always be looking to enroll people and it may be a little harder for them to get started uh, because they're using what's called local IRBs and with the local IRBs it usually takes longer to actually get a study started. It's a lot of red tape an IRB, for those of you curious, you can look it up on our blog, just type in IRB. Um, they look out for the rights and the safety of the study participants. So they make sure, the IRB's job is to make sure that the protocol is safe enough and that there's no unnecessary harm or no unnecessary risk. Now notice I didn't say there's no risk in a clinical trial because that's always a possibility but there's no unnecessary risk in a clinical trial. So with the private sites, the, the boutique clinics like South Coast Clinical Trials, we can use central IRBs, which um, they're no different. I mean, your rights are still going to be protected exactly the same as they would at a university who use the local IRBs. It's just that they're more centralized. There's less red tape. It's more of a process rather than a individual approval process. It's, it's, it, it's more of a streamlined process where they approve a lot of sites at the same time. Whereas at a university or an academic institution, they have their own IRBs and they, they generally take longer to make their decisions. But back to you, the study participant, it depends what you're looking for. I mean, you may find studies that are only being done at academic institutions. You may find that certain cancer studies are only being done at academic institutions or if you're looking for like kind of very specific niche almost rare disease type of clinical trials they would do these at the institutions however there are a lot of niche boutique private non-academic research clinics out there as well so you just gotta do your homework and I would use the internet like I said clinicaltrials.gov is an excellent way to find clinical trials if you're interested in participating in your area now, another difference between the academic larger clinics and the small private clinics, the boutique clinics, is that an academic institution, you could probably find studies for any type of medical condition. Whereas at the smaller sites, at the smaller private boutique clinics, they usually specialize. So like I said, I used the example of South Coast Clinical Trials. We do just psychiatry and neurology. So if you're kind of looking for you know, a one place for all the studies, um, the academic institution would, would probably have, you know, whatever it is you're looking for. However, you can probably find a study that you're looking for at some private clinic. So, depends what you're looking for. They're both the same. You, you should get the same level of care at both. Um, like I said, at the private clinics, you may feel like it's a little more intimate, like you get to know your study doctor maybe a little bit more, but the academic institutions are usually good at this too. So, I mean, the real difference is really in the amount of studies that they do, the type of studies that they do, and the amount of time it takes for each site to begin enrolling for a study. 
usually at the private sites the enrollment is quicker they can maybe enroll more people at an academic institution once they reach their number that's about it and it takes a little longer for them to get started due to their extra red tape that they have to deal with but that's about it you should get good quality of care at both and you should have plenty of options at both it's just with the academic institutions most of the options are within the university whereas in the private side of research at the small boutiques you may have to look for um, or, or research different clinical trial companies before you can find a study that's for yourself and uh, this is more this post is mainly for the study participants out there to answer their question about academic sites versus for-profit sites um, for the study professionals of course for those of you looking for uh, career moves you need a whole different video post to cover that and maybe we'll get that for you too but anyways this is Dan Fair from the clinical trials guru dot com thanks a lot